hello all welcome to tech chapter so in this video we are going to see how we can manage a vm restart in a google cloud so if you are new to gcp you might think okay we have option on a cloud console to stop the vm or start the vm then why we are discussing these topics here um, but that is not the case when you are working on a google cloud or when you are designing application on a google cloud you will face a multiple scenario where you have to restart vm in a multiple case so suppose if you have hundreds of vm then how you will use a cloud console to restart that vm or how you will restart hundreds of vm on a particular time so like that you will face a multiple scenarios where you have to find a suitable solution and if you are working in a cloud so there is no perfect solution just take an example if you are going to a clothing shop and you just ask okay give me a perfect shirt so the shopkeeper will ask you okay what is your size and what is your budget and based on that it will give you the best shirt the same applies to cloud so if you are looking for a solution there is no best solution so solution has to be best for your requirement for your business requirement for your costing requirement for your technical requirement and that's the place where architect come in place so any google cloud architect or any cloud architect will find a solution on the particular requirement so we will see what are the different scenarios a cloud architect or any application team will perform to do a vm restart so we'll see scenarios one by one and we'll show you the available solution for that particular scenario so i'll not only show you what is the solution i will create few more videos on that i will implement that solution on our google cloud and i will show you how we can implement that solution and how that solution will work so mostly i'll be focusing on a cloud native solution so i'm not going outside of a google cloud to implement that solution so mostly i'll focus on the solution only in the google cloud or which managed service we can use to implement our solution so i'll go to a scenario first Okay, so first scenario schedule restart for multiple VM. So suppose you have application and your application is 20 or 25 of a virtual machine and you have to do a schedule restart of all virtual machines. So suppose if you have hundreds of VM and you have to perform a weekly maintenance or something. So how you will do that? So for that we can use a solution in Google Cloud. So we'll see what are the solution and how we can implement that. So the second solution okay second scenario the critical time restart so if we are using scheduled restart so there is a chances that the restart might not happen on a given time so suppose we want to restart a system using cloud solution like the cloud solution in a first scenario and we want to restart the virtual machine at 10 pm but it might go till 10 10 or 10 15 pm so if we want a time critical restart so suppose if you want to restart a virtual machine 10 then it has to be restart at 10 5 or within 10 5 so that time uh, what solution we can use so we'll see that also so third event based restart so sometimes you don't want to schedule a restart or there is no need to schedule restart but you have to perform restart on a particular event so suppose you have one master server and there are 10 client server or a slave servers so you have to restart all the client server when there is a master server crashes so sometimes what happen your master server crash but your remaining slave servers keep running so you want to stop that servers or you have to restart that server whenever there is an issue in the master servers so we have to find a solution it will detect an event where your master server crashes and based on that event you have to stop all your client ser server as well now fourth is encrypted vm restart now if you see a scenario in first three okay we'll find a solution but now client has given requirement that we have to add a disk to be encrypted on a virtual machine then your normal restart won't work because whenever you are starting application or starting a virtual machine from your cloud console it will ask for a encryption key so how you will automate that or how will implement the solution to restart a encrypted vm so we'll see that also fifth is on demand restart so suppose now you don't want to schedule it or you don't want any event based but you want some solution so suppose you want just performing some activity or any release and after release you have to restart all virtual machine so suppose there are hundreds of virtual machine 
you cannot go to each virtual machine click on stop click on start so that is not efficient so you have to find a way where you have one solution and you can use that and restart all your hundreds of machine with a minimal effort so how you can implement that solution also we'll see that and the other is a multiple projects vm restart so whenever we are implementing solution for first four or five scenarios there again a chance is that these solutions are not applicable where your vms are not in the same project so your vms are distributed across multiple projects and you have to go to each project and restart your vms so suppose you have 100 vms in a 10 different projects so your 10 vms are in project a 10 vms are in project b 10 vms are in project c so how you will restart that so we'll see that solution also okay so first i'll cover a first scenario where you need to restart a vm on a particular schedule so just take an example scenario will be you want to perform some weekly or monthly maintenance so on every sunday you will restart all your servers and you will restart all your services in that case what is the solution in google cloud and how we can implement so for that we have solution in google cloud to use a vm instance schedule so i'll show you how we can create a vm instance schedule to stop the vm or start the vm in a particular project and i'll create separate video for that but just remember the solution we can use for this requirement is a vm instance schedule but there are some limitation for this vm instance schedule so what are the limitation so first a limitation is whenever you are creating vm instance schedule that schedule is available only for that particular region so for creating schedule you have to provide one region i have given region as a us central one then your virtual machines only in a central one can use that schedule so that is one limitation another limitation so for one vm there is only one schedule so suppose you want to restart one virtual machine twice in a week so you will create one schedule for a sunday and you can create one for wednesday but that will not happen in case of vm schedule so your vm can be attached to only one schedule so that is a major limitation here again a 15 minutes delay so that is again a considerable time so suppose if you want to schedule a vm at a 12 am to restart then this vm instance schedule will restart your vm around a 12 15 or a 12 14 so that is a time mentioned by google cloud to restart your vm and even i worked on this and implemented this solution multiple times so whenever i want to restart my virtual machine at 12 i just give the time as the 11 45 or 11 50 at then scenario it will restart my virtual machine around 12 am so where the time is not critical or i can uh, restart vm within a one hour window window there i can use this vm instance schedule so suppose i want to restart my vm i want to perform some application or some app operation and again i want to restart my vm so if some kind of operation is happening in between so there is again a limitation that only one start and one stop operation available in one hour for a particular vm so that is again limitation for vm instance schedule and another is you cannot edit a schedule so suppose you created one schedule and you are restarting your vm 12 am every day and now you want to change time from 12 am to 12 30 so you cannot edit that again you have to create new schedule and you have to attach all virtual machine to that schedule so that is again a limitation for this solution now when a previous solution is not best suited for you because of the time limitation so you cannot afford to delay your vm restart by 15 minutes or you want guarantee that okay i want to restart my virtual machine at sharp 12 am then you need to find another solution so what is the another solution we can have or we can implement in a google cloud so we will see that so we have solution to schedule vm restart using a cloud scheduler now how we can schedule a restart using cloud scheduler so i will create separate video as i said where i will implement this solution will show you how we can do that but again for this we have one limitation so here you have to create one cloud scheduler job for each vm so you cannot create multiple 
we have to restart in a single job so we have to take care of this or we can use this solution where we have a major one database server so we can use this uh, cloud scheduler and other like non critical servers we can use a vm instance schedule so based on our requirement you can use either of the solution i will go to next so where we have a requirement where i don't want to schedule my vm restart but just i want to restart my vm where particular event happened so what can be the event so suppose i want to restart a vm or set up vm on a particular event like master vm crash so just take an example i have one master vm and that master vm is used by 10 different client vm and my master vm crash the 10 vm still running then there is an issue so i want to restart all the vm at once or i have to stop the virtual machine when there is a crash in a master node so or i have to restart my virtual machine when there is a specific error in the logs so any kind of alert so i want to stop my virtual machine or restart my virtual machine if there is an alert in my email box so i can create this event based restart also using a google cloud so how we can create and how we can implement this solution so we can implement this solution using a cloud function so i'll show you how we can implement this solution using cloud function in a separate video but just remember the solution here and for this there are not much limitation because event based restart so we are just picking up that event and we are restarting the virtual machine so we can even restart multiple virtual machines also only a limitation here is the design complexity because we have to use a multiple services and we have to design the solution so first we'll capture the logs we'll find that error in the logs and based on that error we'll create an alert and based on that alert we'll trigger our cloud function and then our cloud function will restart the vm so we have to design that flow and that is one complexity second thing we should be aware of the programming language so cloud function we need either java or python or any other programming languages available for cloud function so we'll go for next scenario so encrypted vm restart as i said if you have requirement where your vm should be using an encrypted disk then on cloud console if you are looking for a restart while starting a virtual machine it will ask you to pass a encryption key so in encryption there are two different ways so first is a customer managed encryption key and other is a customer supplied encryption key so how we can restart vms in both this scenario so we have solution for that also so for customer managed encryption key your vm instance schedule will work with solution we provided for first scenario but you have to provide permission to access a keys in your kms so that is the one requirement you have to remember if your vms are using the customer managed encryption key and if your vm is using a customer supplied encryption keys where keys are not stored in google there we have to create a shell script or a python script and you have to schedule that job so here something we have to use a solution which is not managed by a google so for this the limitation is we need a scripting knowledge either on a python or a shell script but we can implement solution with that also again a on demand multiple vm restart so where the scenario is you have to restart a multiple vms on demand or as and when you require and if there is any release happened and after release you have to restart all the servers then you might need a solution where you can restart all services or all servers efficiently so for that we can use a gcloud command so we can create script in a google cloud or we can create a python script or we can create a shell script but here also again we need a programming knowledge but as on demand we do not schedule it or we cannot implement any google cloud solution here just a way to manually do it using a console but that is not efficient so we'll use a gcloud python or shell script so this is the way we have to implement this solution so how we can create a cloud shape a cloud gcloud script or a python script or shell script i'll show you that in a separate video i'll share you the script as well then multiple project scheduled restart so now in first scenario we covered where we have multiple vms and we have to schedule restart 
on that multiple VM in a single project but that VM instance schedule solution will not work for multiple project so if we have a uh, hundred different virtual machines and each project having 10 virtual machines so you will have 10 different project so you have to create a 10 different instance schedule and again if you think there are multiple regions so one project will have four regions so you have to create four vm instance schedule in one project so you have to create 40 instance schedule in all 10 projects so that is getting more and more complex so to avoid this complexity you can use a scripts again so where you can schedule your gcloud python or shell script using cron tap or a cloud function so here we can use the solution which is scripting as well as a cloud function to schedule so this solution also required whenever you are designing a cloud application in a google cloud so for this uh, there are no much limitation just it require additional resources and it will require scripting knowledge as i said additional resources so suppose you might need one additional small linux vm if you are using cron tap or you might need cloud scheduler and cloud function if you are using cloud function so that is just additional resources it means additional costing you have to pay but it will implement the solution for your requirement now these are the all scenarios we have covered in next video we'll see how we can implement this solution and what are the issues we can face while implementing that solution so i'll explain you all the scenarios based on my experience and based on my knowledge on the google cloud architecture and i'll find a way on a requirement so if you have any other requirement for vm restart apart from this just let me know in comment section and i'll try to provide you the best solution for your requirement so we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this video